Hey, everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the collective. So, collective, hi, shout out to you. Whoever you are, wherever you are on this planet, we see you and acknowledge you. And we are grateful for your presence. So, thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. Whether or not anybody else has told you this today, Delilah Tiberius said, I love you, and it's solid, unconditional, and a fact. If you're going to claim this reading, please, from your higher self and for your higher good only. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. Sharing is caring. If you need to contact me for any reason at all, my information is in the box below on how to do that. It's on you to reach out. And lastly, could you please hit that like and subscribe? It's fun. It's entertainment purposes only. It doesn't cost you a thing. And it will make you feel good because it's positive energy you are expending out into the universe that will reverberate back to you. We are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every form to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this clear and ground. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective. Collective, we're working with energy. It's fluid, so it could go either way. And anybody could be resonating in any one of their planets at any time, right? So let's see. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we can help somebody here today, yeah? Yeah. Let's go. Show me. What's going on here? Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Somebody very stable and solid and reliable, hardworking, down to earth, nurturing, motherly, perhaps a business person. Queen of Pentacles is very practical energy. We like it, okay? Now, you do have a page of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody who's very free-spirited. It could be somebody younger. It could be somebody immature. They live in the moment. They don't really think about what they're doing. They're like a weekend warrior type. They're just living for fun in the moment. They're not... Um, it's a childlike energy. If it was a message, it was some kind of like happy, you know, nonsensical, upbeat message. Somebody might need to lighten up a little here. Somebody might be really hardworking and need to lighten up a little. Somebody might have an iguana or some kind of a bearded dragon. I mean, a bearded dragon. All right. Show me. Somebody could be picking apples. Somebody could be going picking apples this weekend. Or, or picking apples. I don't know. Something about picking apples. Maybe it just did. Yeah, the Empress. Taurus energy. Somebody who knows their worth and their value. Everything they touch turns to gold. Somebody could be pregnant here. Somebody could be nursing. Somebody could be doing something worldwide. Okay? Um, somebody here, you know, people respect this person. It's the best attributes of all four queens rolled up into one and then some. Then some. So whether it's a business, a plant, a person, whatever it is, they... You know, yeah, it's Fertile Myrtle. <laughs> That's what that is, Fertile Myrtle. Okay, somebody might have really long, beautiful blonde hair here. Again, I'm seeing apple trees. Show me. Okay, here we go. Now, at the foundation of this situation, you had some kind of Ten of Pentacles. Some kind of stability. Some kind of um, material and financial luxury. Some kind of legacy, roots, family. Somebody could live on a farm here. You got the magician, Gemini energy crowning you. Somebody manifesting something, their future. The, ma uh, the magi, the alchemist. Somebody that's very resourceful. Somebody that's very um, um, intellectual. They have a lot of willpower. They're skilled. They manifest. They take all their resources and mix them up to their best uh, outcome, right? You got a four of swords here. Somebody needs some rest. Somebody might be working really hard here, okay? Somebody needs to recuperate. Somebody's health could be diminishing. And also, somebody needs to relax and contemplate their next steps forward. Show me what's going on here. What's going on here? I mean, so far this is looking good, I gotta say. Except for somebody just looks a little tired here. Four pentacles in reverse. Don't be overly generous, okay? Be careful about your spending. Don't spend recklessly. Try to save. Four pentacles in reverse is overspending, being over generous. You know, just... Yeah, giving it all away, being reckless with your, you know, with everything, okay? Your resources, your finances. Okay, yeah. you got the world in reverse in the center of the spread. So now we have Taurus energy. Something is incomplete. Something has not been achieved. There's something that's lacking accomplishment here, okay? It's a lack of achievement. So whatever that is in your life, you, you know... Show me. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So now, 
Oh, you're going to have a wish come true. Look at this. Aquarius energy. Some kind of wish come true. Hope for your future. A gift from the divine. Uh, yeah. You're going to reciprocate offer of emotions on the table. Okay? So, I'm feeling highly now that this Ten of Pentacles, you could have been like you and your, your sisters and brothers and that kind of family. Obviously, maybe you weren't out marrying the children, you know? But, um... Here it comes, a reciprocated offer of emotion. You and somebody else. And it looks like some of you, this is what you are wishing for or hoping for. And you're going to have this wish come true. It's going to give you hope for your future. It's going to give you a reason to celebrate. Three of Cups. Maybe you're going to be out in the community. Maybe there's a gathering or some social events or celebrations. Or this is going to give you a celebration. you got the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. Good luck, good karma. Decisions that are going to change the fate of your destiny. The Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarian energy. You have Sagittarius uh, you have Taurus, you have Aquarius, and Gemini. Let's see. Let's see. Show me. So, somebody's calling judgment. There's going to be a breakthrough in a situation. All right. Whatever that situation is for you, it's going to be different. Someone here writes music. Seeing music notes. Someone writes music. That's nice. We're not going to take them. It's too many. It's three. Give me, give me one. Give me one. Thank you. Okay. So you got the Ten of Cups here. Nice. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles. Now you got the Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. Now you get the family and the happiness. Okay? Now, look at this. Emotional fulfillment, domestic harmony, and alignment. Two people that feel the same way about each other. So whatever this reciprocated offer of emotions is, it's working its way to a Ten of Cups. That's great. Okay, now, last but not least, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So, this is your advice. Don't be a bit of bitch, male or female. Don't be cold-hearted. Don't be overly emotional. Don't be pessimistic. This is somebody that's all those things, okay? They're bitter. That's a bad energy to be in. It's sour, okay? We don't need sour energy. You're having a wish come true. Reciprocate off from Open up your heart. Be warm, loving. Yeah, don't be like the Queen of Swords. Don't be manipulative. Don't, you know, or be, be careful of any energy around you like this. Queen of Swords in reverse. Male or female. Somebody who's harsh. Somebody who's cold-hearted, ruthless, dishonest. Uh, overly emotional, perhaps manipulative in, a, in, you know, in some kind of a bad way. Yeah. Now, we also have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Something is losing momentum. Whatever that is for you, I don't know. Okay? That's the, that's the opposite of rapid forward movement. That's something losing momentum. Show me. What's losing momentum? Show me. Can I have cards, please? Thank you. Wow. Okay. You're putting an end to something because something is losing momentum. This is going to be a shock and a surprise to somebody. Okay, so somebody's putting an end to something because it's losing momentum. This is going to shock the shit out of somebody that's how a Scorpio energy. Now... Some of you could be using your intuition. Some of you could be doing this very quietly without telling everybody. Like, you know, because the high priestess does not go blab all her business, okay? Uh, you have Scorpio and Pisces here now. So somebody's done with something because it's not moving and they're putting an end to it. Then somebody's shocked and surprised about this. Somebody could be esoteric metaphysical here. Somebody answers to a higher calling. So that's why they're not putting up with whatever shit it is. Whatever it is that you're ending, you know. Now you're ready to go take a new leap of faith. Something ends into something could be, again, transformation. Now you're going to get emotional fulfillment and success. Because you put an end to something that, you know, lost momentum. It wasn't going anywhere. So you could have been maybe dealing with somebody or whatever, and it just wasn't going anywhere. There was a lot of back and forth bullshit. You put an end to this. It shocked somebody. You used your intuition probably to do this. You could be esoteric, metaphysical, like I said. Somebody's got Pisces in their chart. Somebody's got Scorpio in their chart. But now that, you know what? You're taking a new leap of faith, right? Something ends into something new can begin. Again, Aries and Scorpio, and it's a wish come true. It's a wish come true. This is what? That's amazing. Let's get you some letters today and we'll let you go. Oh, let me give you a binaural beat. Show me the numbers. We're going to do deep relaxation and anxiety stress today. 669 megahertz. 669 hertz. Today we have... Yeah, look, go. Go. <laughs> go daddy, I'm hearing. Gone. Go gone. I don't know. Okay, you have t two I's, two E's. You Mongo? G, M, N, a gnome. Maybe somebody's got some kind of gnome. And oh, let's get you a couple more. 
Maybe those little garden gnomes. Let's see those little garden gnomes. Here, here's an A, two G's, a Z, two A's. What do we have? All right. Here we go, guys. You have Z, G, M, two G's. All right. Two N's, three I's, three E's, two A and an O. Thank you so much. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.